Welcome to a problem on reflexive, symmetric, transitive and equivalence relation. Let L be the set of all lines in XY plane and R be the relation in set of lines. Set of lines. This is the domain this time. Defined as relation a pair L1, L2 will belong to the relation F. L1 is parallel to L2. Let's see whether it is a reflexive relation. Here, many lines are related to another line. Since every line L has same slope as itself, we can say all elements of the form L, L will belong to the relation. The lines are parallel. Only then they will belong to the relation. The pair will belong to the relation. We can say L, L will belong to R for all lines L. Because L and L have same slope. So L and L are parallel to each other. L is parallel to L. It's true for every L. Hence, this relation satisfies the reflexive definition. So we can say the relation is reflexive relation. Now let's take an example. L1, L2 belong to R. An arbitrary example. L1 and L2 stand for any of the lines here. And which are in relation. We have taken a pair L1, L2 belonging to the relation. Which means L1 and L2 have same slopes as L1 and L2 are parallel. So L2 and L1 will have same slopes. Which means L2, L1 will belong to R. Obviously when L1 is parallel to L2, we can say L2 is parallel to L1. So here this Arbitrary elements L1 and L2 satisfy the definition of symmetric relation. Whenever A comma B pair is belonging to the relation, they should be B comma A also in the relation. If so, we can call the relation a symmetric relation. So this relation is symmetric also. Now let's consider two pairs L1, L2 and L2, L3 belonging to R. They are also arbitrary any L1, L2 and L3 in such a way that L1 is related to L2 and L2 is related to L3 which implies L1 and L2 have same slopes and L2 and L3 have same slopes which implies L1 and L3 have same slopes. So we can say L1, L3 belong to relation. This satisfies the definition transitive relation. Whenever there is a pair, there are two pairs A, B and B, C belonging to the relation, the pair A comma C also should be there in the relation. Only then we can call the relation a transitive relation which is being satisfied by this example. So we say this relation is transitive also. A relation which is reflexive, symmetric and transitive is called an equivalence relation. So, this given relation is an equivalence relation. And something more about it. Go to the domain, the set of all lines. We can see there are many subsets formed. The domain A is, in the, is the union of many disjoint subsets. E1. All these lines are parallel to each other. Another set parallel to each other. Another set of horizontal lines. Another set of vertical lines. They can be many more subsets. But each of them include only the lines which are parallel to each other. Therefore, all those elements of each of these subsets are related to only the elements of the same subset. This line cannot be related to a line in the another subset. Because their slopes will not be equal. 
These elements will be related within among them. These will be related among them, etc. These subsets are called equivalence classes. Here, these are the equivalence classes. There are many more subsets. Subset of lines having some other slope, many other slopes also. 